Are you pleading guilty or not guilty? I don't think it's an either-or situation, my lad. The court thinks otherwise. Uh, yes, but when you say guilty, um, I'm not a guilty person, my lad, because I'm not bad uh, prima facies. So in a very real and legally binding sense, I am not guilty. Mr. Moody, if you wish to plead not guilty, that's fine. I will set a date six weeks from now to hear your case. But I strongly suggest that you engage proper legal representation because the court will take a very dim view of your having wasted its time and resources, and that may be reflected in the sentencing. Uh, yes, but... Or you can plead guilty, make a brief statement, present your written submissions, and I will take into account your cooperation and honesty. Which of these options sounds better to you? Second one. Thought so. Guilty plea entered. Take a seat, Mr. Moody. May I have the prosecutor's facts, please? I've got to get help, Terry. Dan. Hey, Dan, Dan, if you're going, can I borrow your tie? Uh, this one's broken. The clip on it's... Yeah. I'll give it back uh, later. Yeah, you can have this one. Oh, fuck. We'll see you there. Mr. Dan. Moody. Dan, Dan. Mr. Moody. My lad, defence calls its first witness to the stand, Mr. Scott Westgate. Stop there, Mr. Westgate. This is not a trial. Uh, yes, but Mr. Westgate has some very material facts to bring to the court's attention, my lad. Your witness may submit a written account, Mr. Moody. My lad, Mr. Westgate can't write. Objection! Overall, Mr. Moody, sit down. Mr. Westgate, very quickly, what do you wish to say? Um... Just that, Your Honour, I was with Mr Moody on the night in question and he wasn't nearly as drunk as the Marine Constabulary claimed. Mr Moody is not contesting the DUI charge. Yeah, but just, like, he wasn't maggot or anything. Like, he, he didn't spew and we were on the sea, which should tell you something. Mr Westgate. Yes, Your Honour. I don't want to hear from you again. Oh, um, I, I can write as well. Uh, uh, no further questions. Your witness? I was procuring the work vehicle when uh, my learned colleague offered me what I took to be an energy-sustaining beverage, uh, such as the ones used by professional athletes. My point, my lad, is that this occurred on the sea, so surely the law of the sea applies. Mr. Moody, and I quote, Malad, if I could, from Moby Dick, just a second, Malad, from Moby Dick, perhaps the quintessential book about the sea. Please, uh, Mr. And I quote, Moody. Malad, the, um, just a second, the, um, by Henry Melville, um, published by Penguin Classics, ironically. Um, uh, and I quote, Thank it is not you, down, Mr. Moody. is not down in any map, That's true enough, places Mr. Moody. never are. Finished? No, my lad, no. Uh, in conclusion, my lad, if, if tuna is the chicken of the sea and prawns are the snails of the sea, then surely penguins are the rats. Your Honour, I'm Sean's mother. Could I have a word, please? Objection! Mr Moody, stop objecting. My son's hopeless. I love him, but he's hopeless. He started 22 small businesses in the last six years and this one actually seems to be working, so I beg that you don't take his licence and his jet ski because he needs it for work. He hasn't got a clue, but he tries so hard. So, you're using the idiot defence, are you? Yes. As a mother, I'm using the my son is an idiot defence. Strong objection! Shut up, Mr Moody! Shut up, Sean. Three months suspended sentence, $500 fine. Awesome. That's awesome. So it couldn't have been different. Thank you, Judge. Policeman, stenographer. Do you like apples? Hey, justice has been served today. It, uh, it can happen. Sucked in.